take it on the, for example, if you forget at lunch, you take it at night. Don't take the, the one from lunch at night. Until you finish the whole box in 10 days, and we'll see you back in 10 days. The start of your new year is going good and you know let's jump right into it um so this is what is this week two um that i have um went back to school or oh, whatever school has started back and whoo y'all i actually like this i like this section of the class um like this is my second month second module and we are talking about the um, urinary system. We are talking about all things male and female when it comes to, uh, you know, pap smears, biopsy, cancerous um, cells, um, just how to check in a patient and et cetera. And I'm actually really enjoying it because this semester's professor, like she's very interactive first off she looks like simone from ready to love and i'm gonna have to tell her that because i haven't said anything i'm like oh my gosh she reminds me of simone from ready to love and even her character is kind of like simone's from ready to love um i really like her because she makes it she makes everything to where it's very inter interactive and you know you know it gotta be a super comfortable class for me to be talking a lot in this class um so i do like we're able to give our opinions we're able to share like similar stories to make things relatable um she shares a lot of things that she's been through with us and so it just makes it easier to remember the information when you are when you're sharing like your story and you can relate um, you know, you can relate your, you know, your breast exams, your pap smears, um, and things of this sort to the information to help you remember it. Um, so what we have, like I said, we've been learning about the, um, urinary system, um, how to properly set up the tables, how to, um, interact with your patient. And it's one of those things that, it's really interesting how you, I'm going to talk for myself, how I can personally glance back to my past and see how majority of the stuff that happened was preparing me for this. Um, mind you, I have geriatric experience because when my grandmother was kind of in her last stages of cervical cancer and she was diabetic um my grandma was just not 
taking care of herself. That's a whole nother story, y'all. A whole nother story. Um, and because a lot of stuff could have been prevented. Um, but she just was she just wasn't taking care of herself. Like she didn't care to take care of herself, which makes me believe that she was definitely she's um like was depressed um and things of that sort so um i have that experience of helping my mom take care of my grandmother because we had to like help bathe her sometimes help go to the restroom help her put her clothes on etc um when it comes to um surgeries i have that experience through my youngest son he's had thumb surgery he's had knee surgery and it was me that was helping him every step of the way um heal and get better and adjust and things of that sort when it comes to giving giving shots when it comes to having to fill syringes uh, with medication when it comes to taking blood pressure um and on and on and on um ketosis strips all of those things i have that experience through my oldest son because um he's diabetic so you know i had to um, make sure the correct medicine was in the syringes i had to give him his shots um at the time i had to it was a lot, yeah. It was a lot. So, have that experience. I had to check his um, blood levels and stuff every three hours. So, and thankfully, the price report on that is all he's taking now is metformin and lacetopril. So, that's a beautiful thing. Um, when it comes to just the general greeting of you know a patient, while you know you get you prep them and get them ready for. Um, the doctor to actually come in and have a conversation with them. I have the experience because, you know, the constant appointments that I had to go to with my kids for, you know, to get the thumb checked, to get the knee um, surgeries checked, even physical therapy appointments, um, diabetic appointments. Like, I know how, I know how that intro goes because I paid attention to the medical assistant, you know, that's the first person you are pretty much in, in their presence. You're pretty much in contact with the medical assistant, um, before you even see the doctor. That's the person that, you know, they call you back. Um, they call you back and they're going to take your height, your weight. They're going to take your blood pressure. Um, if they need to pull labs, like for blood, they're going to dry your blood. Um, they're going to take you back to the room and, you know, the room should already be pre-prepped anyway. And then, you know, they're going to go over your personal information with you to um, make sure everything is correct. And then the doctor comes in. After the doctor leaves, the medical assistant comes back in. Um, usually it's the medical assistant, then it's the doctor, then the nurse may come in. Um, and if not the nurse, it's the medical assistant. Um, when the medical school assistant comes in, makes you know, issues your papers, um, your discharge forms or whatever, um, see if you need to set another appointment, goes back over the information, sees if you have any questions, comments, concerns, and tells you what preventative measures that you need to take. So I am very confident um, with this section of class. And I do have footage. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to play all that footage. I'll play some at the beginning and then I'll put um, some extra footage maybe in between or at the end. Or I may just put it all at the beginning and you get to see like a lot of the stuff that we do. Um, there is and I find it very interesting um, that we were actually told by a doctor that medical assistants is, are just nurses that are unlicensed because i've been hearing a lot about how not all but there are some nurses and there are some doctors i guess depending on where you work that they look down on they look down on the medical assistant and it's like how are you looking down on somebody 
that's helping you out. You know what I mean? Um, but that's definitely um, a disrespect that I would not take um, at all. And so, yeah. So to have a doctor to, you know, and that's to me, now that I see what we do, really that really we are we are just unlicensed nurses and we cannot um we can't give out you know start ivs and we can't um you know do like catheters and stuff like that of that sort um so yeah it's not it's not that much in between really when it comes to medical assistants and nurses which is why it is more so a easier transition um as a medical assistant to go into nursing because you already know the basis and you already have like that experience especially with the clinicals so what i am trying to what i'm really thinking about and i'm really researching is where would i want to um we don't get to choose where we can do our clinicals when it comes to school um, if there are, if there are locations that specialize in something that is like a trigger, then we can tell our professor, um, not to put us in that lane of, um, specialty. So, um, there is, there is two lines of specialty that I'm going to say, like, don't put me there, um, because they are triggers from things that have happened um, within my family so I am I am still heavy on um, working in cardiology I'm still heavy on working in neurology and then um, you know just kind of doing those two just are kind of like my main ones um, we got a rundown yesterday in class on what it's really like to work in like labor and delivery um or like the OBGYN that whole setting and it's a lot it's a lot especially when there are things that you have to report um different signs that you have to look for when it comes to um abuse with women that you know may come in and have appointments for different things um we have been learning like different code words for you know help um it's a lot it's a lot and for me i know i have to be very mindful of my own personal mental health also so um something there's a young lady that i was watching on youtube a few minutes ago i really like her channel so i do watch um what is her name breland hunt i watch um jaylen i forgot jaylen's last name and i'll put it at the end of um at the end of this vlog um because breland is becoming a doctor but she paused um and god has taken her another direction temporarily and then she's going to go into that go back to becoming you know a doctor um brie lynn her journey of becoming a nurse and her stories boy it make you think um who else oh donuts that is one of my favorites oh donuts is hilarious um and then this um new young lady I ran across actually today um that I like the depth I like the depth and so you know it's just continual confirmation that you know this channel is to give you information on where you want to be at in the medical field I do advise some people are good and they can just jump into whatever field they desire but if you are hesitant and you're iffy and you just want like a taste of what it's like to be in the medical field, I would definitely say start with medical assisting. Um, I told y'all my first um, my first month, many sleepless nights, like the stress was crazy. Like 
and I am a person, I don't break out. I've always had clear skin. <clears throat> always. I may get like one little pimple or something like that. Oh, honey, last month, it was tough. So, um, you know, this month, like I said, it's interesting because you're learning things. We're learning a lot of things about like the female body. Um, you know, even with like the male reproductive system and you know things of that sort and like i said what has really helped me and helped me like log in the knowledge and the information in this class is because i can i've been through some of those situations with people in my family so you know um but i do like like i said i'll put the young lady information at the end like those three um, those three young ladies, I watched them a lot. Um, very informative, very informative. Um, and so, like I said, with this channel, like I want to give y'all as much information as possible. I'm going to show y'all as much as I can because, um, I can. What I also like about this professor, we can use our, we can record in class. So I'll record, um, excuse me, y'all. I'll read. Oh, that's another thing, y'all. Be prepared to lose some sleep. Be prepared to lose some sleep. Because, whoa. Like, my sleep is thrown off. Like, when I get... Right now, I'm at my son's school. I'm parked. I'm watching... Um, I'm watching um, the other kids, like, their track practice while I'm waiting on my son to get out of basketball practice and oh yeah he gone oh <laughs> yeah and so um once we get home eat stuff like that around seven o'clock i'm gonna start doing my work um my wi-fi was acting up at home yesterday so hopefully i'm able to do my assignments today um and we have to go to school friday because that's a makeup day because last tuesday it was ice and stuff on the ground so, you know, like I said, this channel is going to be super informative. Um, I'm also going to be sharing, um, you know, the the balance, how to help you balance out your life when you are in medical school. Medical school, when I say that, it consists of medical assisting. It consists of nursing and all of that stuff or whatever. Um and y'all, what I'm trying to decide too, because I read and I done my research. So in order to go into like the LPN program after becoming a medical assistant, I have to work. Well, that's what it says. You have to work six months to a year and then go into the program, which you also have to get accepted to the program. So I'm debating between coming right back to CHCP and getting my LPN or I'm thinking about going to TCC and I say TCC because I have a ton of credits and stuff that can already go towards that and just not and then I can just be able to focus on like the main things of the program and it will be at a slower more thorough pace than CHCP um, because this is, is very fast paced. I'm telling y'all, like last week, our first day back at school was Thursday. It was Thursday because Tuesday schools were closed. Y'all, we had lecture, had lecture, went through lecture and then ending up class, she just threw us into a whole, um, a whole situation. Like, we had to partner up and get all our patients information, our play patients information. We had to take the blood pressure, um, vitals, um, beats per minute, um, respiratory. Um, we had to, um, we had to go pee in a cup and test each other's urine. Um, we did a pregnancy test, like, yo like she just threw us into it and i noticed like for me 
is which is really interesting because I'm more so of I used to be more so of a uh, I'm still a note taker I'm, I'm always be a note taker but I noticed that with this I'm more so visual so I'm like okay show me and then okay like I pretty much got it and I'm grateful for that mindset and that's something that I have <clears throat> excuse me been praying for since I started this program and I'm like God just please allow me to have the mindset in order to retain all the information learned that I'm learning um allow me to be able to absorb it to retain it to understand it and to use it correctly though the way in which it needs to be used um and so I know it's like once I once I learn something I'm shown and then I do it I, I'm like, okay, I got it. Cool. And I'm going to be quick with it. Um, the only thing, y'all, I have to work on is when we are doing blood pressure, because you have to have on your stethoscope, uh, place the, you know, the stethoscope on um, the artery and the artery on your arm. And then listen for, listen for the pulse, et cetera, et cetera. And it is it's a juggling act. So I have to work on that um, as well. And we are going to be drawing each other's blood soon. Um, which I'm not afraid of that either. Um, not afraid of that because I have experience with needles due to having to give my son, you know, his uh, diabetic, you know, his shots at the time. So it's not that um i just don't want to puncture somebody's freaking vein um because the veins are iffy like you have to you definitely have to make sure that you're doing it at like an angle um because you can easily puncture through somebody's vein and then you know mess them up and something that i'm also praying over um is that you know how there are some nurses some medical assistants that when they take your blood um when they take your blood you don't feel anything like it's so quick like i'm praying that i have that gift of when i take people's blood that they don't even that before they even realize that i've taken the blood that like they don't feel anything so that's a very high request um very high request so yeah other than that y'all i'm just trying to um get a schedule together because you definitely have to have a schedule um because anything going in the medical field <clears throat> is gonna it's gonna knock everything off because you're trying to study you're trying to balance getting sleep um then you have to care about your well-being um which is why like probably the middle of probably after valentine's day i'm gonna do a whole haul i have to get more scrubs i have to get a certain type of sneaker um i need to get a um a better stethoscope it's gonna be a whole haul y'all like and i'm gonna take y'all along with me <laughs> a lot of vitamins like it makes you really have to take care of your health in order to help somebody else with theirs for real and something that i've been i think my body is all caught up now is sleep is sleep i slept today took my son to school i went home i ate oatmeal I cut up some apples in my oatmeal with a ton of cinnamon um cinnamon i saw this is a note cinnamon um keeps your blood pressure leveled and some else so i put like a ton of cinnamon in there and i just like cinnamon did my honey and i had orange juice gotta get your vitamin c in if you want a super boost of vitamin c combine orange juice with uh, orange juice with low sodium they do have that um and pineapple juice and put in some turmeric and um ginger that's your vitamin c boost right there so um i did that and then y'all i slept from like 10 to 3 30 
10 to 3 30. and like i said when i get home x y and z around seven o'clock let's say seven o'clock i'm just gonna start on my work and yeah yeah y'all it's a lot thankfully we do have a makeup day because i am gonna like be doing a whole lot of work and i do like that also this professor she's allowed she allow us like we can help each other so we did an assignment in class and we all took a question we all gave each other like the answers and we all got a hundred so i like that she does like her goal is like for you to pass and we are with this professor all the way until july it's time to do our clinicals so yeah what else did we study y'all we went over how to do um a clean catch um and then we had different scenarios on we had different scenarios on how to um oh gotta watch the surroundings yeah i gotta watch the surroundings um on how to explain different things to um patients of all different ages um because you can't come at you can't come at a 13 year old with all these medical terms you have to simplify it you can't come to an elderly person with all these medical terms you got to simplify it you know so um i like that we did do those scenarios and majority of majority of the medical field is critical thinking it's critical thinking and it's making sure that you are collecting specimens um and keeping them as clean as possible as sterile as possible to get the best solution and um recording the information correctly so yeah guys that has been the week thus far i am going to um record some more because i go to school to tomorrow which is thursday and then our makeup day is friday and yeah so and guys you also have to fit in your self-care time and your fun so um like you have to because you have to give your you have to give your brain that break of like okay i need to relax and absorb this information let's do something fun so what i do um i'll i'll just watch funny stuff i'll watch funny stuff i'll watch you know other people um videos or whatever that are that's lighthearted. you know it's not serious like because studying and being in school for this is serious enough so you want to have something that balances it that's not so serious where you can laugh and it just makes you feel like you took a deep breath and you've like exhaled and you've relaxed so that's it for this video guys i will definitely pop in again and